There was something interesting during Manchester United's match against Burnley in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup at Old Trafford Stadium. Namely the choice of Eric Ten Hag in playing Casemiro as a central defender. In this match Manchester United won 2-0 goals by Christian Eriksen and Marcus Rashford. United have the right to move on to the next phase. Eric Ten Hag revealed his reasons for playing Casemiro as a centre-back against Burnley. He said Casemiro was used to playing in that position so he was interested in trying it, even though his original position was midfielder. In this match Ten Hag conducted some experiments on his squad. He plays Casemiro, who incidentally is a defensive midfielder along with Victor Lindelof, in the Manchester United defence. When asked why Casemiro plays in that position, Ten Hag said, Yes, today we chose Casemiro for play at centre-back. Ten Hag mentioned that it actually has several options in its line of defence. But he feels Casemiro is more suited to playing at the centre-back post. Ten Hag said, Casemiro often plays in this position. Luke Shaw can actually play in this position and it's a good situation because our players are hungry to play. Reese Bennett also played well when we had the test against Everton. We had a number of options, but it was Casemiro that I chose for this match. Eric Ten Hag also admitted that this is not his best squad, but he thinks this is the best squad he can play for. Ten Hag said, I am happy that our players have started come back from the World Cup. I personally would be more happy if all our players could play in the World Cup final and become champions like Lisandro Martinez. But our players are already very close to top level play and it is the small details that will decide the course of the game. Bruno Fernandes played a key role in Manchester United's dominant victory over Burnley as the team secured a 2-0 win. Christian Eriksen scored a stunning first-half goal, thanks to a low cross from Aaron Juan Bissica, and Marcus Rashford added to the lead with a stunning second-half strike. This was Manchester United's first competitive win after the World Cup break, and it came against tough championship opposition. Marcus Rashford put on an impressive display, starting with a brilliant run that saw him shake off two Burnley defenders before firing a powerful low shot into the bottom left corner of the goal. While Rashford and Casemiro received much of the acclaim for their performances, Bruno Fernandes also deserves recognition for his contributions to the win. Following a strong individual performance for Portugal in the World Cup, Bruno Fernandes appeared ready to continue his excellent form. In his preferred playmaking role, Fernandes worked alongside Christian Eriksen to control the game. Despite being eliminated by Morocco, Fernandez had a standout tournament and looked poised to carry that success into his club play. As captain in Harry Maguire's absence, Bruno Fernandez had 61 touches of the ball during the game. The 28-year-old playmaker delivered 36 out of 50 attempted passes, for a pass accuracy of 72%. Fernandez made an impressive five key passes and one successful cross as well as connecting on two out of five long balls he attempted. It was a standout performance in a playmaking role for Fernandes. In addition to his offensive contributions, Bruno Fernandes also shone defensively in the win against Vincent Kompany's team. He created one big chance and successfully completed all of his dribbles. Fernandes was particularly effective in ground duels, winning an impressive five out of six and also made two tackles. The United No. 8 put in a complete performance in the match. Unfortunately, both the team and supporters will be without Bruno Fernandes for the quarterfinals, as he received a yellow card and will have to sit out the next match in the competition. There is no doubt that Fernandes will be greatly missed by the team.